How you doing guys? Welcome to another video. This is still topic two, atomic structure. And in this one, we look at what is relative atomic mass and you need a calculator for this one. So go get it, bring it, turn it on, let's go. Okay, topic 2.1, what is relative atomic mass? We look at how the relative atomic mass is calculated. We talk about the mass spectrometer and we look at some calculations involving relative atomic mass. The IB understandings is you need to know that a mass spec is used to determine the relative atomic mass of isotopes and then we look at some calculations using mass spectra. So the relative atomic mass, which is essentially the mass of the element relative to carbon, is measured using an instrument called a mass spectrometer. The mass spec separates the individual isotopes and determines both the mass and the abundance of each. And then it presents it graphically. Here I have two images of a mass spec. One was where I went to uni at La Trobe. The mass spec shows the number of isotopes that an element has. It shows the number of peaks, which indicates the number of isotopes. The position of the peaks shows the relative isotopic mass and the heights represent the abundance of those isotopes. So there's an image of a mass spec and we can see that it has two peaks, so it has two isotopes. The first isotope weighs 35, the second 37. They're in sort of a three to one ratio. What is this element? Well, it's chlorine. It's a chlorine sample and chlorine has two isotopes and its relative mass is 35.5 because the relative mass is the weighted average of the isotopes. So to generate a comparison, chemists needed a standard and they chose the most abundant form of carbon, carbon 12. It contains exactly six protons and six neutrons and it was given a mass or a relative atomic mass of exactly 12 units. So most elements usually occur as two or more different isotopes and then the mass of the elements therefore depend upon the abundances of all of the samples. It's a weighted average. So whatever one has more, it's probably going to be weighted more towards that one. So the chlorine one is 35.5 because there's a larger abundance of chlorine 35. Now the relative atomic mass, given the symbol AR, is defined as the mass of one atom of that element relative to one twelfth the mass of an atom of carbon, where the carbon ex weighs exactly 12 atomic mass units. That is a definition that you need to know. The relative atomic mass is the average of the relative isotopes, the naturally occurring isotopes, and it takes into account the relative abundances and the isotopic masses. Just to go over that again, the relative atomic mass of any element is defined as the mass of one atom of that element relative to one twelfth of the mass of a carbon 12 atom. Carbon 12 weighing exactly 12 atomic mass units. So that gives us a standard to compare all of the other elements. So if we're asked to find the relative atomic mass we can do that as long as we have a certain amount of data. So to calculate the relative atomic mass, we, work, we need to know the relative isotopic mass, so the exact mass of the isotope, and its percentage abundance. And then we add that to all of the other isotopic masses and the percentage abundances, and divide it by 100. So it's like the sum of all of the isotopic masses times their abundance divided by 100. So an example calculation, boron has two isotopes and the data is given in the table on the left hand side. Their relative masses and percentage abundances are given, calculate the relative atomic mass of boron. So it's asking us to find the AR. So the relative atomic mass of boron will be, all right, let's look at the smallest sample first. It has a mass of 10.013 and then we multiply that by its percentage abundance. Then we add it to its next isotope, which has a weight of 11.009, and we multiply that by its percentage abundance, divided by 100. Now, if you think about this for a second, there's a lot more boron 11. So that means that this, when we do the weighted average, it's probably gonna be closer to 11 than it is to 10. And in fact, it's 10.81 atomic mass units, only four significant figures because the percentage was to four significant figures. Okay, this one here is a common IB exam question where we're asked to do a little bit of maths. So copper has two isotopes, a 63 and a 65. 
It has a relative isotopic mass of 64.95 for the heavier one and 62.95 for the lighter one. The relative atomic mass of copper is 63.45 and we're asked to calculate the percentage abundances of the two isotopes. So we have to set this one out a little bit differently. We start off with the atomic mass of copper which is 63.45 and then what we need to do is set up one variable for our percentage. So the lighter isotope is given the symbol X for its percentage abundance and the heavier one, how would we find that? Well, we would do 100 takeaway X because that would be the leftover. So now we set this out with those variables. We have 63.45, which is our atomic mass. Our, rel our isotopic mass for the lighter one was 62.95 and then we multiply it by its percentage abundance, which is X. And then we do the exact same thing for the other one, except this time the percentage abundance is 100 takeaway X. We divide that all by 100. We don't have X and Y here because we only have one equation and we can't solve this simultaneously. So now this just becomes a maths problem. So I take the 100 over to the other side and multiply by 100. And then I'm just going to expand the brackets and simplify the X's. So we have 62.95x plus 6,495 take away 64.95x. I'm going to take the 6,495 to the other side to give me minus 141. And then I'm going to combine the like x's. So now I just get into a nice simple little problem where I can solve for x, which will give me my percentage abundance. Now that's the percentage abundance of the lighter isotope. So 63Cu equals 70. 0.5%. So the leftover, well, this is where the 100 takeaway X comes in. So 65 CU must be just the remaining percentage, which is 29.5%. Just to go over that again, when we have a question like this, set it up so that the lighter one is X and the heavier one is 100 takeaway X. And then just place it into the formula and then it's a simple maths problem. So here's one for you to complete. This one is about rubidium. I want you to set it up exactly as the last one. So here's my solution. I needed to set it up in the exact same way with the lighter isotope being the X and the heavier isotope being 100 takeaway X. After doing the calculation, I found that rubidium 85 was 73.5% and rubidium 87 was 26.5%. How did you go? Let me know in the comments below. Okay, topic 2.1, some top tips. Know the definition of the relative atomic mass and understand the two different types of calculation. One is subbing them in directly, the other is setting it up with the lighter isotope being X and the heavier element being 100 takeaway X. Thanks for watching guys, don't forget, drop a like on the video, subscribe for more, and I'll see you next time.